With high refresh rate displays becoming more and more common in our smartphones, it's becoming something that we expect from pretty much everything above $300. But can people tell the difference? We invited a plethora of people with different ages from different backgrounds to come and see if they could tell the difference between two phones, one set to 60 hertz and one set to 90. They've been told it's a psychology experiment and they don't actually know the true nature of the test until afterwards where I tell them. Today we're using two pairs of phones, one a pair of Realme X2 Pros, one set to 60, one set to 90 hertz, and a OnePlus 7 Pro and a 7T Pro. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get hold of a second 7T Pro or a second 7 Pro, so the test is slightly unfair there, but all the brightness settings were set to 100% so that that perceived speed could not be changed. And apart from that, they were loaded up with the same home screen, the same wallpaper, the same pre-installed applications, all ready for our test subjects to use. With that all said and done, let's see how they got on. I'm gonna hand you two pairs of phones, one pair after the other. Each pair is physically the same phone, and I want to see if you think there's a difference between them when using them. And if so, what is that difference? Okay, yeah. It's exactly the same interface when you uh, when you drag down the menu in the top. They look exactly the same at the moment. The one on the left is faster loading a web page, maybe better Wi-Fi chips or RAM. Well, they both open up apps at yeah. the same kind of speed. This one feels like it just seems more authentic. They seem pretty the same to me. I can't see a difference between the two. No. no. To me, they both feel pretty similar. There's very little difference between them, um, if any at all, really. I would have to say that they're pretty much exactly the same phone. Well, sure, I don't think they can't really see much any difference, really. Okay. Okay. This one feels slightly lighter. I mean, I I'm not sure whether it is. Again, very similar interface. This one's got a better front facing camera. If I was being very picky, I'd say there's better definition on that image there, but that might just have been the way I was holding it or the way I took it or movement on my hand or something like that. I assume what they, they both seem exactly seem to be exactly the same. They just, they're the same. I feel like they're the same. I don't see a lot of difference, frankly. Can't see a difference. I might be totally novice, but I can't see a difference either. No, I can't. So, yeah. I mean, I was expecting most people to not be able to tell the difference, and maybe a small percentage would, but not almost the entirety of the participants. It's quite funny because I didn't tell them specifically what they're looking for. They were kind of comparing cameras and speakers and the general speed of the phone, the battery life, and went into the settings to see if they could see anything. But no, they didn't really notice anything. And unfortunately, I have to kind of admit, sitting there watching them try to compare the two phones, from that distance, which was about three or four feet, I couldn't tell the difference either. They looked exactly the same. So why couldn't the participants actually tell the difference? Well, I have a couple of theories. The first one is that the difference between 60 and 90 hertz just isn't enough. It's 50% extra and it's really not as big of a jump as you notice when going from, let's say, 60 to 120 or 144 hertz. And that brings me to my second theory, which is that you see a lot of gaming displays, mainly at between 20 and 30 inches, that are at 144 hertz. And maybe the size of the display and the distance from yourself to the display makes a difference as well to the perceived speed. So what does this all mean? Well, that the general public, including some techie people in that group of participants, they just cannot tell the difference between 60 and 90 hertz. And even afterwards, when I told them exactly what to look for, it was hard to even then see the difference between the two. So you really need to know what to look for to actually see a difference, and even then that's quite rare. Which doesn't bode well for the extra money that you seem to be paying for these 90 hertz displays, although granted they are seeming to come down in price ever so quickly. But added to which, the extra power that you need to drive those frames, and very specifically the battery life that you have to forego to achieve 90 hertz, 
Well, that's just something that doesn't seem worth it. A perfect example of this is with the Pixel 4, where if you force 90 hertz mode to be on the whole time, the battery life just goes from bad to worse. Thankfully, however, it seems like the year 2020 is going to be the year of 120 hertz displays. And that gets me really excited because I can definitely tell the difference between 60 and 120. With a difference in refresh rate like that, I mean, it would be so much easier to tell the difference. And we'd love to continue investigating this topic, uh, comparing 60 to 120 or even 240 hertz displays, if that's something that comes out next year in smartphones. And even beyond smartphones, it would be really interesting to see if we could compare the size of screens and the distance from the participants to really see if that makes a difference as well. If you want to see experiments like that, please let us know because we'd love to experiment and try and get you that data and analysis to you via the Android Authority YouTube channel. And with that, it's about time for me to go. Thank you all so much for watching and it was really fun to do this experiment. I want to give a massive shout out to everyone who participated because without you guys, we wouldn't have been able to do anything with this uh, and it was really fun to do and hopefully insightful for you guys as well. Please do like, comment and subscribe to never miss a video like this one. I've been Ryan Thomas with Android Authority and I'll see you later. Peace.